Vasanth has set himself some pretty high goals, and the grocery shop is his first opportunity to prove he can save. From the get-go, Vasanth is out to save every cent. Why is the butter so expensive? How much is it? It's like four bucks, man. At this rate, I don't think I'm gonna go over the 100. I'm feeling pretty good about it. That'll be $42.05. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, Ma. Hi, darling. Um, the bottle is very expensive, and I saw we have a little bit left, so I just bought this. He bought so little. Does he expect me to run the family's breakfast, lunch, and dinner with love and fresh air? I don't know. <laughs> uh oh. Fail. Reality check, kids. Yeah, it takes a lot of money to feed you guys. Teenage Boss starts this weekend on ABC TV. And uh, ABC Me, sorry. And Eddie Wu joins us now from Sydney. Eddie, good morning. This is a lovely idea. Nice to see you again. No, likewise, it's great to be here and I'm really excited about talking about this show. It's such a great learning experience for all the teenagers, as you just saw. Yeah, indeed. So look, is it really that simple? So they're told uh, what they have to do. You've got to find the money for, for all the food, the groceries, some other bills as well. Here's the whole money. You're in charge. It's absolutely the uh, epitome of what we would call an authentic learning experience. You know, <laughs> often kids are learning stuff at school and they don't necessarily see how it applies to their everyday life. And this just absolutely turns it on its head. And every question that the kid asks and wants to know the answer to, it's because they have a real life situation they're trying to solve. Yeah, we're seeing pictures of them lying in the money, just fondling all that cash. How many of them go crazy and make really stupid decisions? <laughs> well, I think in some ways, each of the teenagers, because it's a pretty steep learning curve that they have to experience, they all make some mistakes, and that's a crucial part of the learning process. I, in fact, it's those moments where their expectations are kind of turned on their head when they realise this food is not going to last, or yes. actually bills come up not always when you expect it. Those are the most important moments when they actually reality comes crashing down and they realise, oh, I have a lot to learn here. And what about the parents? How do you keep them from interfering? It's uh, every family is a little bit different and the dynamic is quite an interesting thing because in fact while the teenagers are learning it's also a huge learning experience for the parents as well. I mean I can think of what it would be like for me to hand over control to my children and to be back in that position of having to ask for money and being dependent. Uh, it's just as much a learning experience for them too. So do they really have to do everything? Are they, uh, are they handed the, the bills if they, if they come in during that month and the like, the electricity, the gas and the like, they pay and, and have to budget for all of that? Yeah, we take it really seriously, making them the boss. They don't get out of any of it. And in fact, you know, not only do they have to pay for things like utility and insurance and make sure that's all factored into, uh, there are things like, you know, a traffic fine might come up or, or someone's license for their job, which they didn't expect. They didn't even know that it exists yeah. and they have to roll with the punches. Uh, is there an emergency credit card they get access to? <laughs> there is no emergency credit card. Idiot. They have all of the money laid out and they have to adapt to that. And when things happen, they have to be creative sometimes with their accounting. And that's why I'm kind of there to be their mentor and help them through that process. Because sometimes they've got to give me a quick call or shoot me a Skype chat and say, what do I do? Because they're in a real situation of uncertainty. 